Like I said, my little brother went to uh, prison for armed robbery. My sister did time in prison. I have a cousin that I grew up with who's in prison to this day. Friends that were killed in jail kind of along the way. How do you guys think I got to this point where I'm sending that today? What do you think? Hard work, what else? Grit, perseverance. Yep, I believe in myself. You must have heard my talk before. <laughs> uh, number one thing is that I believed in myself. There were professors along the way, there were counselors. I lost friends along the way who told me I studied too much, they called me names. <laughs> counselors told me that my grades weren't good enough. That my... Imagine that you're kind of in a coma in a hospital. Um, because in medical school, they teach us that the brain is a circuit. And something that you believe in, or something that you want to achieve, if you want to be a nephrologist, or a lawyer, or a businessman, or a teacher, you have to really believe that. And you have to constantly tell yourself that I'm going to do this. I'm going to be a teacher. I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm going to be a doctor. And you have to just forget everything else that's coming from each direction, from your friends and from your family from the counselors that are telling you that you can't do it. You just tell them, okay, turn around and walk away. In medical school, if my classmates were reading a chapter one time, I probably read that same chapter six or seven times. If they did 500 questions for an exam, I did 3,000 questions, outworking everyone else. I don't think I'm the smartest person. I'm definitely not smart compared to most doctors, but I work really hard. And there was gonna be nothing that was gonna stand in my way of becoming a doctor. And if it would have took me 10 years to get into medical school, the missions committee at every single medical school would have knew my name because they would have said, oh, it's, it's Antonio Webb again, he's applying again. Because that's how bad I wanted to be a doctor. And if you wanna be something that bad, you'll eventually get it. You just gotta keep going. treat your failures as successes, then it's gonna help you in the long run and you can be successful. So it's okay to fail a test or to flunk a class. Organic chemistry, I made a C in it, getting chemistry two. It was one of my hardest classes actually. Uh, you will never use any of that information again. <laughs> uh, but what I did was I, I learned from it. I said, what can I do to improve myself or my test taking skills, my study strategies? Could I have studied a little bit longer and I use, utilize that kind of in further classes. So what not to do? Have you guys seen that teen doctor in Florida who uh, was going around acting like he was a doctor? Dr. Love, Malachi? That's my boy. <laughs> so some people said that they look, he looked like me at work, so I, I had to recreate this pose. And my last thing is to uh, never give up. Another professor in medical school, he stated that failure is not in the falling down, it's in the failure to get back up and try again. And throughout all my life, everything that I've kind of been through, growing up in Louisiana, getting rejected from medical school three times, having to apply all of those years, and now becoming an orthopedic surgeon, if I can go through all of that and become a doctor, become a surgeon, that you guys can also. So thank you for having me tonight. Oh, I had a great time. Uh, come back to UTSA and inspiring the students where I went to school at. Uh, it was awesome. So hopefully I can inspire someone to become a doctor. If I can go through everything that I went through to um, Growing up in Louisiana, everything that I went through to become a doctor, all these students here can also. So.